Hey, what we're going to be working on is replacing the old style radius rod axle collar with the new style radius rod axle collar. What these do is they take and they move the collar outside the adjuster nut. On the old style, we would have to go a quarter turn out, adjust the bushing preload, and then tighten it back up every time we wanted to make a bushing adjustment. Now with these, we can go ahead and, and make our bushing adjustment and not have to mess with this anymore. So I already have the uh, motor plates off and I've got my front radius rods unhooked from the mounting plate here. So we're going to flip it over and take the nuts off each end. So we leave the spacers in there, the nuts go back on and get driven right back down to the spacers. So at this point it's probably a good idea to pull these, uh, pull these back and, and check inside here there are two uh, if you pull the bushings back there are two axle axle nuts that hold the axle on center and make sure there's no play in those and that they're tight uh, we red loctite these in and uh, once they're loctited in they're they're good to go so we'll go ahead and adjust the preload on these So you just got to get them close at this point because you'll adjust uh, adjust that part of it later. So we go ahead and we're going to take these and make sure they're clocked the same way with the bolts facing the same direction when we go to spin these on each side. And they'll spin on kind of tough. If, if this nut doesn't have any gap in here, just back it up a little bit so you got your gap in there and it'll help uh, help getting those threaded on so we're gonna set the back spacing on these next we're gonna use a micrometer um, a good starting place with the bushings is to close the gap up right in, in here and in here. And you just close the gap up is all you need to do. And that's a, that's a good place to start with the bushings. And it'll also get you real close to the right amount of, uh, of gap between these two. So you want to spin the axle until you see the slot each side of this has a slot in it peel this back here a little bit you can see the flat spot right in here you can see the flat spot right in here okay and you want to line that up with this so we'll go ahead and peel that back in and the exact spacement on this is not as crucial as you think but you want to have them equal so what i like to do is run about an eighth inch gap in between the uh, the nut and the uh, and the collar and then I'll grab a micrometer I'll come right in here on the micrometer and slide that in until it bumps up against until it bumps up against the uh, the spindle stop and I'll come over here on this side and I'll check the other side and you can see that I have a little gap up here so this needs to go in one more and that's just about right, right there. So it, the important thing is that you have the same amount of threads on this side as you do on this side. 
So we'll go ahead and install our radius rods. So each of these radius rods, they have a right hand thread here and a left hand thread here. It's not crucial which end goes on what, but I always put the right hand thread on the uh, on the collar side and that that way I go back when I have to make an adjustment and loosen those up that I know which one is the right hand thread. So you want to make sure that this this is a spring washer here and we'll make sure that the spring washer is on the collar side and that we thread that in nice and we're going to go ahead and hand tighten this and make sure that it seats in that flat slot and the flat slot is what clocks these and lines them up so I'm going to work that back and forth until I get that in the slot and you can watch this here I'll back it up see how it's got play I'm bringing it up as I tighten this, the play goes away and it fits in the slot okay so if you look right down here at the spring washer I'm going to run this down until that spring washer is almost closed. You don't want to go all the way closed, but almost closed on it. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing to this side. So once again, the bolt goes in first, spring washer second. We'll run that down, work this back and forth. We know that it's flat, it's in the slot, it's not moving. We'll come back to the spring washer here. We'll come back to the spring washer and we're gonna close that spring washer gap up almost all the way. You don't wanna close the spring washer all the way, but almost all the way, okay? Now we're gonna take these, we're gonna flip them over and what these are going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten down the collars and that is just going to crush that pin in there. It's going to crush it with a lot more force than, uh, than you can do with a bolt on its own. And so when I tighten these up, I go very firm on these on the tightening. So I'm rolling these down. Very tight. And that's, that's the last time you have to mess with these. So we'll roll these underneath. And you can see that we can now adjust our bushings without having to mess with the collar. So it's a pretty good solid setup. It works really well and it's, it's pretty, uh, it's a little more user friendly as far as being able to adjust your bushings on the fly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hook our radius rods up. And we have three holes in here. These two holes, you only need one spring washer. This hole on the bottom, which would be the board side, you got to have three. So you're going to put the other two spring washers in there. On the bottom side, you're going to put your bolt on on the inside here. Now what this allows is it allows hardware clearance. So there's hardware clearance inside from these two bolts here when you have it in full tilt. So you can see the gap, hardware clearance. And we can see that we don't have it at a 90. We want that rod and this bolt to be at a perfect 90. So what we have to do, uh, earlier we put the, the right hand threads up by the collar so we know they're the right hand thread. We're gonna crack these loose. And the left hand thread goes the same direction. 
and we're going to crack that loose. We're going to crack that loose, and we're going to crack that loose. Now we can take these turn, these uh, jack screws here, we can move them in and out. So we're going to take and adjust this out evenly on both sides. You can see that moving until we get a perfect 90 between the radius rod and the radius rod bolt. So we'll keep going here, keep going. We'll just keep going out. There we go. So now we have a relationship that's at 90 degrees between the bolt and the rod. Throw the motor mounts on next. So what I like to do is just kind of eyeball the threads on the outside. You get these spun in a little bit and make sure you have the same amount of threads on each side so it's pretty close. Take the spanner bar and you want your spanner bar motor support to be able to just sit in here by itself just like that. Um, you can run a little blue Loctite on the uh, inside on the threads here if you want to it helps um, we don't on our house boards um, just throw a little blue loctite before you spin your motor mounts on you can throw a little blue loctite on these two if you want uh, the blue allows you to get these loose uh, red is pretty much something permanent that you don't ever want to take apart again unless you want to use heat blue will allow you to uh, to go ahead and uh, get these out without having to put heat on them. But, um, so once you got your motor mounts in, your motors are in, bolted up and all of that, you can take and clock the motor mounts at, at any angle you want. When I go to tighten these up, uh, just like we did with the collars, you want to use a real firm hand when you tighten these up. So if you do have a little bit of blue Loctite on there, it's not going to hurt a thing. It'll help hold it in place. Once you have your uh, your angle that you want for, that you want established. But uh, nice heavy hand on tightening these up and, and they work really well. That's about it for what we got. It's a nice, nice addition to be able to go in and adjust these without having to mess with any of your outside hardware. Um, that 90 degrees is really important and also if you drop your bolt all the way to the board side that extra two spacer washers in there is very important as well so everything's hooked up we got our 90 in on our our radius rod bolts to our new collars now we need to adjust the track and what the track is is it's the relationship to the center line of your board center line of the board your track so you adjust your track by turning the radius rods in and out and you can see the track moving in and out with that and what you want to do is uh, you can use a t-square on there um, good set of eyeballs work when you go to tighten these radius rods up we got the right hand thread on the top left hand thread on the bottom you want to roll all the radius rods over and then go ahead and tighten and they tighten the same direction same on this side here what this does is it puts the radius rod at its full tilt angle because when we're done tightening everything up we want to be able to take and watch these things float like this a bound up radius rod would be something where you have it twisted and and it doesn't move back and forth we need these to pivot like this so that they have the range and motion for when you're when you're uh, in full tilt 